Hey Ed, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to share the three must-have organizing solutions that you need for your house. I'm calling this a quick tip Tuesday and I hope to do more of these really fast, easy organizing tips occasionally on a Tuesday, not every Tuesday because commitment. A total must have in your home is a command center. Sometimes I see gorgeous, gorgeous command centers like Pinterest worthy, very elaborate spaces, but you don't have to have something like that. A command center is a place in your home for important paperwork, basically. Your family's calendar, schedules, newsletters, maybe, I don't know, things you wanna reference. And I keep mine here on the side of the fridge. So it has my to-do list. It has Milo's, like he's getting his picture taken. I also have this little paper organizer that has contacts for neighbors, different painters that I like, flooring guys, we're doing a little reno downstairs, all of those other scraps of paper that otherwise would be a pile. Command Center keeps your family organized. It keeps you organized. I love having my household management binder right here in the kitchen beside my command center because it has the school information, the kids busing information, it has all my favorite takeout menus, all the important things that otherwise would just be lost are all in one designated place in my home. I also have a command center in my office for running my business. So all of the important papers I have to read and reference, my calendar, my to-do, all of my video and blog ideas, everything important has one designated spot and I call it a command center and you need one too. A landing zone is another must have spot in your home for organization. It's also called a drop zone because it's literally where you drop all your stuff when you come into the house. So we're talking keys, wallet, your purse, your kid's backpack. If you don't have a designated home for this stuff, it can create a lot of clutter. Creating a landing zone doesn't have to be overwhelming or expensive. It can be hooks for your keys or for your purse or a basket for you to drop your phone and wallet in. You should definitely have a designated spot though. This is what this is all about. Creating a home for these things that are so easy to lose. If you're looking for keys, you're looking for your wallet, it's gonna make you frustrated, possibly late, and it's the worst way to leave the house feeling overwhelmed and frustrated. So think about the place where you're naturally dropping things like bills that need to be paid, the flyers when you come home, your kid's backpack, and think about how you can create a home for these things right where you're naturally dropping them. Don't overthink it. It doesn't have to be Pinterest worthy, but this is a must have in your home. Another must have in your home is definitely a place for homeless clutter. This is like the random stuff that you don't know where else it should go in your home. And in my home, it's big. It's this entire armoire. It's where I keep things like extra candles or if we buy a gift for someone and it's their birthday coming up or if I have to return something or if it's just something I have no idea where it should go, I shove it in this armoire. If I find something Joe is left laying around and I don't know where it should go, I shove it in the armoire gift cards, just literally random things. It has to have a place to go. This could be a basket. I don't want you to overthink this, but I do need you to have a place in your home for random things to go. It used to be a junk drawer. Now that's a utility drawer. And I've upgraded to this giant armor because I have a lot of random junk, but it keeps the rest of my home really clutter free and it makes sure that I'm not misplacing anything that otherwise would just be shoved and hidden in a random spot because I have a dedicated spot for all of the extras to go. Want to see the weirdest thing I have in here? Okay, listen. This is Miss Polly. I can't part with her, okay? Don't judge me, all right? I used to run a daycare and Miss Polly helped me teach all the children to like learn to read and their numbers and their letters. Look at her, look at her. And when the kids got bored, she did this. Ah, ah, choo! And the kids laughed hysterically. Little bald Miss Polly. I can't, I'm gonna keep this forever and I don't know why, but I don't know where, <laughs> I don't know where else to put her. Put your hair back on, sister. So I shove her in the homeless, the homeless clutter armoire. We all. If you want more organizing advice, I have the coolest thing to announce. I'm doing Get Organized HQ. This event has over 70 like real life organizing experts, 
offering tips on meal planning, organization, organizing paper, everything you want to know is in one place. Did I mention it's a free event? I'm going to be one of the speakers. I really hope you come and join us. You don't need a babysitter. It's online from September the 13th to the 17th, but you need to sign up now to make sure you get your free ticket. I'm going to put a link down below. You don't want to miss this. So thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button because listen, this Thursday, I have a fall decluttering video coming out where I went a little bit crazy and I decluttered all the things that I declutter every fall. So many garbage bags. Just wait till you see how much left my house. Joe is a little concerned with how much I'm actually getting rid of, but I feel amazing. I'm like, what else can go? Uh, yeah, I hope you find that video inspiring. I know you're going to find that video inspiring. So I'll see you Thursday. Hey guys, thanks so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. So. I don't know if this is really like a secret, but you know how I'm constantly wanting to move. Don't get excited. I'm not moving, but we did actually go look at a house, a beautiful house with like a two acre lot and it was gorgeous and it had a studio and had everything we wanted. It was a little bit pricey, but also I had to get really real with myself when we were there, two acres, so many gardens, gorgeous pool, interlocking stone. Is that realistic that I want to take care of that much stuff? Do I want to weed that much? Do I want to clean that big of a house? I'm trying to simplify my life. And so we looked at this gorgeous house that basically ticked off all the boxes, what we wanted. But the truth was, I don't know if I'd be happy with that much work to do. I, I don't want to, I'm not at the point where I want to downsize, but I'm definitely at the point where I want to simplify and pulling weeds out of interlocking brick. It's like almost a half an acre of interlocking brick sounds terrifying. Um, so we're going to keep looking. We're, we're going to keep looking for a house. But the other thing is we realized, oh my gosh, if we put an offer on this house, we have to sell the house we're in right now. And it's not ready. It's not ready. And it gets me thinking about all the things we have to do to fix up this house in order to sell, which also gets me thinking, why am I waiting? Right? So anyways, I got this really cool fall in love with your home series coming up where I'm going to be doing all those little projects that I've been putting off and hopefully inspire you too. So come back for that. But I wanted to share my, my house searching story with you. I'll keep you guys posted if we find something cool. See you next time.